A common and often confusing part of estate planning is taxes. Who pays and how much? To help make your life and your estate planning process a little easier, I'm going to walk you through the answers to one of our frequently asked questions. If I create a revocable living trust, do I have to obtain a taxpayer identification number and file a separate tax return for my trust? Before we get into the tax details, let's first get an understanding of what a trust is and more specifically, a revocable living trust. When you, the grantor, set up your trust, you are creating a rule book that is attached to a box and that box contains your assets. That rule book contains specific instructions for how the assets in the box should be managed and who has permission to use the assets in the box. The rule book also appoints a trustee to carry out the instructions noted in the rule book. A revocable living trust, which can also be known as simply a revocable trust or a living trust, has certain characteristics. The most obvious being that it's revocable, meaning that the person who established the trust, the grantor, has the power to change, modify, or terminate the trust. You can put your stuff in the box and take your stuff out of the box at any time. While each revocable living trust may have a different rule book, one general rule is that separate tax filings are not required while the grantor is alive. What does that mean? Generally, revocable living trusts do not need a taxpayer identification number because the trust's income is reported on the tax return of the grantor or the trust maker. The grantor pays the income taxes generated by the assets in the revocable living trust and uses their own social security number as the taxpayer identification number of the trust. Then when the grantor dies, the revocable living trust becomes irrevocable. At that time, the trust may require its own taxpayer identification number as the trust can no longer be associated with the deceased grantor's social security number. The trustee will then file any tax returns due using that new taxpayer identification number. The process to obtain a taxpayer identification number is fairly simple. If your trust requires one, the trustee will submit an application to the IRS to request that taxpayer identification number, or TIN. If your trustee completes and submits this application online, the number will be available in a matter of minutes. All that being said, taxes and navigating the best course of action with your trust can be confusing and overwhelming. You're not alone in that. We help people in these types of circumstances every day. To learn more about how trusts are taxed and other important estate planning issues, give our office a call and one of our client welcome specialists will be happy to assist you.